Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for repeatedly asking my spouse not to use his phone while driving. I'm 36 and my husband of 40, have been together for almost 10 years. I am the oldest daughter of a state trooper and have always followed traffic laws. I had a window into the horrible accidents people can get into by doing things like texting, being on socials, or browsing Google while driving. He often drives with his phone in his hand, switching his eyes from his phone to the road. My anxiety level goes through the roof when sitting in the passenger seat. I remind him of the law, I remind him how unsafe I feel, and I mention how easy it is to get into an accident, all of which has no effect. It's as if he is actively being defiant, because of how reactive I am about it. He tells me I am overreacting, and if I keep fussing, he will just take me and leave me at home. I am concerned, he seems unconcerned about his own safety or mine. Today is his birthday. While we were out trying to find birthday freebies, the topic arose again. I said, please don't be on your phone while driving, and he said, I'm just looking up deals. Okay. No change. I write a bit more with him in silence. After a little time passes, he picks his phone up again to look at it and type single-handedly. When I repeated my request, can you please wait until we park somewhere to be on your phone? He lost it. He proceeded to speed up to 68 in a two-lane, 35 miles per hour zone. He started weaving through traffic, saying, I just had to get home to get you out of this car. I said, please slow down, you're scaring me, we cannot afford a ticket, to which he said, I don't care, I cannot stand being next to your critical nagging, it's my birthday, you're trying to ruin my birthday. Wait, what? His reaction, doing something even more dangerous in response to my request, has me really scared. Is it strange to act so defiantly about a logical request when your wife is clearly upset? Is this hyper-controlling? I understand I have been very intent on how upset I get with his lack of consideration for our safety and my feelings. Is it illogical? I am very confused. The hardest part was it's his birthday, and now he is saying I ruined his birthday and that I did it intentionally to hurt him. Because I mentioned feeling unsafe and requested more than once, would he please abide by the law? What? I would never do things like that, like try to make him upset on his birthday. The fact that he thinks that way about me hurts a lot. That isn't my character and I don't have intentions like that at all. Am I being gaslit? AITA? I get so confused. Part of me feels like he is turning my concern back on me and criticizing me for getting on him. He says I'm just controlling and complaining. I wish he could empathize with my true emotional state, but he won't even hear me out. I guess I thought a man would consider following laws as a minimum for his own safety and others. Reacting as if he could kill us is too much. He still uses his phone and calls me names when I mention I feel unsafe. I don't want to cause more problems, yet I don't want to feel unsafe with him driving. What should I do? Please advise, I feel like a jerk sitting at home like I'm being punished for speaking up. He said, this wouldn't be happening if you had just kept your mouth shut. Has anyone been through this kind of dynamic? I don't know if I have the ability to think straight about my marriage anymore, your opinions, insight and observations are appreciated. I just sent this text to him in the other room because I needed to clear the air, but I didn't want another fight over it or to be shouted down. Maybe it would be better to have this conversation written so there isn't yelling. I want to hear your response if you're willing to correspond with me this way. This is my side. When you say to me, I can do that, I can drive and have my phone out and be safe, to my ears, you are saying, I am willing to take the risk of my safety, your safety, the car's safety as well as other motorists in order to continue doing things this way. I don't care if my wife feels safe with me or not, I am not taking her seriously anyway. I just think she overreacts and wants to control me. Is there a problem with me wanting to feel secure while you're driving, the desire that you consider laws and safety? Do you feel a sense of protection over yourself, your vehicle and others on the road? For everyone, I believe anything other than only checking your phone while the vehicle is stopped is a negligent and inconsiderate driving habit. It doesn't matter whether you can or not, it's the increased risk you are taking. Why do that? You marry the daughter of a state trooper who has heard all of her life horror stories about car accidents and things about why laws were made. I had fear about following laws. What do you think that did to the little me? It impressed me with extreme caution, a near fear of getting into accidents, and always being aware to follow the laws for my own good and the good of others. You tell me to essentially get over it. I think that's intolerable. I have legitimate concerns, and I don't want to just be disregarded. Especially if that disregard could cause us to get into an accident. I take that very seriously. Why would one not take every precaution to stay safe? That's just wisdom to me. I just do not understand where you are coming from, because I have the background and perspective that I do. 
it doesn't matter if you're good enough at multitasking to handle it, that's not the point. The point is that you have chosen to take on the increased risk that is immediately incurred once you introduce a distraction while driving. You're doing that willingly and knowingly. You're choosing not to sacrifice being on your phone for the well-being, physically and mentally, of your wife and others when in the vehicle. That makes me feel unsafe and insecure. There is no good enough reason to increase risk like that. This is what I hope for. When you're at a red light. Sure, go ahead and use your phone. When you're stopped for more than 15 seconds of course. Parked, stopped, no problem. Moving, no. Your choices become you can hand the phone to me to help you if you need something while you're driving, or you can wait for the next opportunity when you are stopped. The same goes for me if I'm driving us. That's my request. You can do whatever when you are alone in the car of course, but I hope you'll be willing to do that with me, I hope you will stay as safe as possible at all times, as far as it is up to you. Risking our safety, shouldn't be a choice you get to make while I just remain silent. Yes, it got out of hand. I admit I lose my cool when I get that nervous, and this is a very serious matter for me, I hope you'll be willing to consider my words. If you would, could you make some modifications please? His response, yeah, if you stop bitching at red lights. So, I guess I got an answer. Proof will be in the pudding. Thank you again. This is my first ever Reddit post, and it feels strange to ask the public openly, when no one knows this goes on in my home, thanks for being kind. Zieli, you're not being gaslit. However, your feelings are valid, and he's dismissive. Why don't you insist that you drive any time you're together? Especially after that stunt he pulled, I would refuse to be a passenger in his vehicle. Not the asshole. Op replied. You had a good suggestion, and that would be an easy solution to the situation however, he has told me, he gets carsick when he is the passenger. I don't want to do that to him on the flip side, I don't want us in danger either. I can ask him, but I don't want to come off as a jerk, or disregard the fact I already know he gets carsick. I just don't want to put him through that, which itself stings, because I'd like the same considerations. I also don't want to be so, in my feelings that I neglect to consider his feelings, position, and reasoning for his choices. Doesn't make it right to be on his phone in traffic, but I want him to feel heard too. Armchair detective replied, For your information op, he doesn't get carsick if he is not driving. Some men do not want to be driven by women, and they see driving as a male role. If he can drive and scroll on his phone at the same time, he doesn't get carsickness. Op replied, Lying to deceive and get one's way, is one of the most fearsome responses a spouse can have towards you it wouldn't be unlike how he has acted towards me in the recent past. Scary. Thanks, I'm pretty blinded from having stood in this place for 10 years. I don't think like that that he could be just telling me a story to get his way. My first instinct is to believe him, so I don't suspect that he would act that way, but I have been a fool before many times. I think you have him pinned though. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.